I, was, I just said an adult. Is it okay for an adult? Right, and I stab, well, we, we haven't even established exactly what an adult is. So if somebody goes through puberty and they're physically ready, they're biologically ready, they're an adult. So they can, the two 16 year olds can be considered adults by my logic. We're not, but we're not, ta we're not talking about two 16 year olds. What are you talking about? Olds. We're talking about. An adult. That is an adult. You're arguing it. What, what I'm saying is that. So, so then, what is an adult now? Okay. Let we'll use your age. You, someone who is 25. Is it okay for someone who is in their 20s to marry a 15 or 16 year old? When you're, and let me explain. When you're doing your arguments, it's coming from an adult. I, I've never heard you say like two teenagers should be able to marry. Like I haven't heard that with these takes. I'm talking about someone in your position in the 20s. Is it okay for you to marry a 15 or 16 year old? But teenager, even even bringing up this term that has nothing to do with child. But, 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 he's asking a question, you know, and now he's changing his question. He's dodging and running. I've seen this symptom before, man. I was in their 20s to marry a 15 or 16 year old. When you're. And let me explain, when you're doing your arguments, it's coming from an adult. I, I've never heard you say, like, two teenagers should be able to marry. Like, I haven't heard that with these takes. I'm talking about someone in your position in the 20s. Is it okay for you to marry a 15 or 16-year-old? But teenager, even, even bringing up this term, that has nothing to do with child and adult. So there's, there's two phases. You're a child, and then you physically mature. I don't know why you can't just your body that directly. I'm saying the difference between a child and adult is when you're physically and when you're, you're biologically, when you're mentally ready to have kids. That's the difference. The teenager is not even, so you added another term in this. It goes child and an adult. You mature and then you're, you're physically ready. Well, I didn't add it. You, you brought in two 16 year olds. We were talking about an adult and a 15 or 16 year old. I, I was not the one that brought this into the equation. Right. With, if it's illegal, so, like, if, if it's illegal, because we believe in Islam, we believe that we should obey the law of the land. If that's illegal, okay. if that's if that's not permissible, then then we don't do it. We don't break the law. Uh, but we're not, I'm talking about your personal beliefs. Do you think you do you think someone in there? He said, "Law of the land. England, America is not your land. England and America is not your land. That's why you bringing that law there for, huh?" One more time for the rewind, man. We were talking about an adult and a 15 or 16 year old. I, I was not the one that brought this into the equation. Right. With, if it's illegal, so, like, if it's illegal, because we believe in Islam, we believe that we should obey the law of the land. If that's illegal, okay. if that's if that's not permissible, then then we don't do it. We don't break the law. Uh, but we're not, I'm talking about your personal beliefs. Do you think you do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16 year old to someone in their 20s should be i mean i personally wouldn't do it I, I don't know many people who would do it the maturity for people in the teenagers in, in the west is gets getting much worse but there are American talking globally let's just talk globally like do you think it is okay for it i'm not talking about just you specifically anymore anyone do you think it's you, you can't answer straightforward questions kenny oh well, you can't answer straightforward kenny okay for anyone in their 20s an adult to marry a 15 or 16 year old a 21 year old if if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it why am i going to get involved why should we get the government involved well, why, 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 why would i tell them if, already, if everybody's consenting if everybody's okay with it if the parents are okay with it if nobody's being harmed if it's going to be okay if they're both abiding by by the rules and they're not hurting each other why not but if they're they're still like they're at best a sophomore in high school. They can't consent to something like that. Like, do you think? A, do you think? A I, yeah, I once seen a video right of this girl being forced to um, leave the house and marry some man that brought her. The father sold her, and the girl didn't want to go, and she was crying and screaming for her mom. And mom had to watch her as a, a daughter was not dragged away. She walked away, but crying because you know she understood her mission in life. Get me? She understood the mission in life. Get me? To be sold, I guess, as a young ass girl. And God knows how that turned out. I'm just saying. I ain't lying. Get me? I even posted the post. You get me? And she didn't want to leave. But she was forced to leave. That, that happens a lot. I can guarantee a little girl don't want to leave its home. I can guarantee little girls don't want to leave their house, leave its mother, leave the father. I can guarantee that. 
What little girl wants to be dragged away to go live with some man to be abused and touched and fumbled? At like we don't do that. No, what do you do then? Do you give them books and teach them how to read? Stuff like that. Do you make sure they go college and home? I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Stop playing games with me, you know. You know what? I hate how this world takes me for a fool, you know. I hate how this world takes me for a fool. I really do. Do you understand? God damn. Sophomore in high school, they can't consent to something like that. Like, do you think a do you think a Okay, so now it's so, 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 sophomore in high school like versus senior in high school. What's the difference? Like what's the difference I'm between I'm just saying, wise? like, I'm giving you a perspective on where that age would be in life. Like they, they can't consent to something like that. I mean, that's not, that's probably I you're you're bringing up an outlier that's probably not going to happen as much. I'm saying that these are these are arbitrary reasons to say like a sophomore versus a senior in high school. How much different were you really maturity wise? It wasn't that much of a difference. The reason that you keep saying 18 is because in California where they post Hollywood movies, it's 18. And so everybody across the world, this is the standard that we believe in. This is the correct age exactly on the dot. And if it's anything under that. Are you so are you going to say here that if a 21 year old got married to a 17 year old who was almost 18, is that 21 year old a pedophile? I would say that that is a morally bad thing to do for sure. Not not morally bad. Not morally it. bad. Is that is I that, wouldn't I wouldn't call it. No, I wouldn't call them a pedophile. So when is someone so someone when does somebody become a, a when does somebody become a pedophile? I would say when you have this position, you are you're, you're not answering the question. You are. I'm explaining it. Okay. When you are in your 20s and you start preying upon someone who is still a child, a 15, 16, 14, anything under 18, a 21 and a 17 year old. But you, you still I haven't had... specifically defined what a child is. I, I did. In so then why? Opinion. Okay, okay, there you go. So if pedophile is love of children and your definition of adult starts at 18, if the 21 year old marries a 17 year old who's turning 18 tomorrow, he is a pedophile based off your definition. As I said, if he would wait, he would not be. Then yet, well, we're not wait. To, to Based off your definition, that, that person's in that a position. So, there is no reason to not wait for it. Right, like, he's making a point. Think about it, yo. Like, he could just wait. He could just wait in a few extra months. Simple. You understand? Rather than somebody, one day he's talking about how he met the one girl, right? And then one day he's saying it to the wrong person. You quickly add up the dates, and they might just look at him funny with a left eye and say, "Wasn't she seventeen though at the time? Like by the date you just given? Yeah, technically she's about to turn eighteen though. It's all gonna make him think. Mm, so how long were them two fucking? Was them two sleeping with each other like years before? Blah blah blah. That might have definitely made him a pedophile. Stuff like that." See, see, that's what I'm saying, Sneeko. You worry about people with, you don't worry about the people with brains. Do you understand? The legally established, agreed upon definition of when you stop being a child. Okay, so now we get into the question of whether the pedophile thing is that a moral answer or a legal answer? Because it seems like morally, you know, it's pretty much okay, it's almost there. That morally, that's not a pedophile. Legally, it is. But those are two different things. But they don't need to be. They, yes, like, they can coexist. You recognize that, right? No, no, no. Like, then, then that's when you muddy up morality with the law. Now you're allowing the government to determine morality, and that's where things get muddied up. Because if they changed it with, like they did before, like 200 years ago in the 1800s when it was the age of 10, that was fine. Legally... Sneeko, listen to me. Listen to me, right? Get me. 18 assures everybody that people are grown enough to have at least six... Do you understand? It assures everybody that the body is ripe enough. That's why it's no mistakes then. No accidental deaths. Accidental, if that's what you want to call it. I would more say purposely. And other things that can just mess up the child's mind. Do you understand? It would lead, it would stop uh, an influx of people going out raping young girls as well. Kidnapping them on the streets, dragging them off the street, throwing them on the back of a motorcycle and, and, and driving and, and riding off in the back of vans and stuff. There'd be an influx of that, influx or whatever the word is. Mm -hmm. Does that kind of thing happen back where you come from? France or wherever the hell it is. Back then, they were not a pedophile. Today, legally, they are a pedophile. There's no consistency there. Well, you can't allow the... We, 
You can't we allow the government. I can say there's no consistency if we put a number on it. 18. 18. You get me? And if you're 19 and you're messing with a girl that's 17, yeah, you're under the bracket. And people can question, why didn't you just wait? If you like her so much. There are people that talk to each other on the internet back and forth and they don't even meet for, for years, right? Why couldn't he do the same thing? He can just wait. They got they got to wait. You understand? There's no excuse for it. And there's a, and they're a grown, mature man, but he ain't got the passion. He hasn't got the, the patience to wait. Notice, had, notice the words. A grown, mature person. Mm. Maybe someone needs to check out their mental status. huh? Maybe mental issues has got a big part to play in all this, right? No one's questioning the mental issues. To determine morality because it changes all the time. Tomorrow, if the U.S. government legalized bestiality, if the government legalized incest... Based off your logic, there'd be no reason why that's wrong. Can I ask you, Moise, do you think that incest is wrong? Yes. Why is incest wrong? There is under no circumstances any excuse for <laughs> anyone of the same bloodline to be romantic. Oh, my God, because they do it. So they're going to... All right, let's, let's, let's listen to Nico's reason why it's right antic like that by no no means at all why i really think it should be pretty obvious why i don't know why i'm, so I'm asking even i i know where you're going with this because i've heard this argument from another streamer before about like the ethics of incest if they don't have a kid and thus don't pass down like bad genes that lead to a, mm -hmm. a bad child I, I i've heard this before but so but i, I, I want to hear your answer because are we going with legal or, or, or are we going to follow some he's trying to answer it sneaky let him answer it you know because it's a sick and it's a sick question sick question and then sneaker's gonna say but why back in the day they had to do that you're talking about the garden of eden anything after that was just sick garden of eden yeah they did that then you understand anything and then nations took on that same task to grow their nations and then it stopped anybody still doing that till this day is a uh, you know especially knowing the damage you can do to the child is quite sick sort of morality it is some sort of consistent morality why is it why is incest wrong incest is wrong because i believe that no family dynamic should ever include a sexual relation why i don't think that because it is not healthy it is a bad thing to do it what, is oh, a horrible going, thing to subject any, anybody can just sit there and say why why i used to do that like to everyone just messing with their heads why when they say something to me i go why and then they say something else i go why and then i just keep saying why yeah. why why? That's all Sneak Girl's doing, you know. Just watch. Someone to. But why is it horrible? Because who who told you that? It's it's what I believe. And also Who told you wasn't? Who told you wasn't? Sneeko, that's the main question. Uh, what sick MF told you that wasn't? Huh? Was you touched when you was a kid, Sneeko? Was you? Did something happen to you when you was a kid? That's why you like you agree with it, but you don't agree with it. Or you don't agree with it, but you do agree with it. Or you do agree with it, but you don't agree with it. So if you do have a child with your own kin, the child suffers. Okay, but say it's two brothers, two gay brothers, Chris, Chris Tyson, and and other promoting gays now. What the hell? I thought you said he was from Islam or something like that. Chris Tyson and Chris, if they if they're two brothers and they decide to be in a no 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 genuine question, it's what you believe in. I want to figure out where your beliefs come from. You personally believe but that my beliefs come from a place of what I believe to be moral, where I don't believe that anyone in the same family has any position to be romantic with one another. I don't think so. That that's your morality dynamic. comes from yourself. My morality comes from like the world around. Think about it. It's like. <laughs> oh my god it, it, okay. can you even believe that this is going on ladies and gentlemen can you believe that imagine that you have a flock of kids and you expect them to go out there a flock you have you have a family you say say you got four kids right and you want to bring them up to be like yeah you got you got two girls and two boys you know what i'm saying you want the girls to grow up be as smart as they can be find themselves a, a, a good man you understand? Get a good job or whatever. You understand? You want your men to grow to be strong. Your sons to go to be strong. Get a good job or, or own a business. Boom, boom, boom. Be a leader. You understand? 
you don't expect to, when you're bringing up your kids to want to marry each other, have sex with each other. They're supposed to go out to the world, choose a perfect mate and create and build. That's how it's supposed to work. That's how. That's how. That's how. I mean, I don't have... Okay, so if the, if the morality comes that. from the so, world around you, then by your logic, if you lived in America in the 1800s where the age of 10 was okay and where the age of 7 was okay in England, just 200 years ago, if you followed the world around you, that would be okay. That was fine. And it's not now because we've evolved past them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I had to unpause it then because we've evolved. Get me? People go to... Uh, the uh, 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 you, you know people go to uh, you know places like England and America for more education and stuff. Do you understand? You get me technology education. You know what I'm trying to say. Like I said, we got the biggest dictionary kind of thing. You know what I'm trying to say for words and that. You know, I remember some countries didn't even have words for pussy and stuff back in the day. I, I asked certain man like. What's the, how do you say pussy in your language? And it's like we ain't got a, we haven't got that name in our language. It's like God damn, this was a long ass time ago. I was in school when I asked somebody that. Yo, I think it was like an Asian shopkeeper. Real talk, I was like God damn. Anyway, um, yeah, let's carry on. We are significantly further along to recognize this was a bad thing. People evolve. Like, people, like, uh, here, we'll, we'll go even stupider with this. So your morality, so your morality is ever-changing. You know, it changes with yes, people. Yes, moral, morality is changing. Like, you don't, you are not born and then stay the same the entire time. As you take in more information, okay. as you grow, so does your understanding okay. of the world. So, That's how it so let's, let's see where this goes. Change. Let's see where this goes. Come on, Sneeko. You should know that. Otherwise, you still look like a peacock. Okay, feathers on your face and that. You understand? You've evolved, Sneeko. Now you look like that. Mm, okay. Let's carry on. Change. Okay, let's say we continue this and morality is ever changing. And then you, most critically, you're living in America and now everyone around you now believes incest is okay as long as you don't have a child that's going to come out deformed. You have. Then I would disagree with it. So you would. So your morality does not come from those around you, it comes from somewhere. If your morality comes around you, you would agree with everybody that's there. You would agree with the government. No, you would what? agree with the law it's... of the land. Where yeah, would you get... Everyone has you... their own individual... What's he talking about, y'all? What's he talking about, y'all? So, yo, you maybe got to question these man's education. You Seriously. Because his form of education is just dumb. It's backwards, yo. It's backwards, yo. Morality. Individuality, individuality has nothing to do with morals. Your your personal it does, because your, your moral, cells are formed from your personal experiences no, no, and no. from what you take in around you from the people around you. Okay, so but if you take it in from the people around you, then incest would be okay if everybody was no, doing it. it. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! So the people around you, incest is okay. You just let the cat out of the bag. You just let the cat out of the bag. So people around you, incest is okay. Cool. Let's keep going. If you personally didn't agree with it, it wouldn't be. Like, if you want, like, I, I don't know why you're, like, you're doing the argument a little incorrectly, but I know where you're trying to go. But the point is, like, the fact of the matter is, people will always have their own perspectives on things, unless, of course, you just follow what you are told 100% of the time. Like, for you, you're pushing back against... Yeah, 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 you got him. Ah, you got him, you got him, you got him. So he's a follow-up. You're a follower, Sneeko, you're a follower. You get me? You ride the wave. People around you. Incest. You're a follower, my nigga. Sorry about the N word right there. The age of consent, because you don't like being told that this is what it is based on this. You believe that, well, actually, there's a couple other extenuating circumstances in these cases. That's in not what I believe in. My, my belief comes from something that's consistent. It comes. It comes from the Islamic way. It, it comes from the Islamic way because nothing else makes sense. The Western way is always adapting, and now nothing else makes sense. Nothing else makes sense. It comes from the Islamic way. So you just said. So you're you're in that tree Islamic. Is that what you, is that what you're saying? You, you learned this from the Islamic way. Nothing else makes sense, and we just showed you putting a number on it. All right then. Nothing makes sense. How about I just start selling milk, start selling food without a sell by date. Let's do that. 
Let's just start sending it, put eggs, milk out there on the shelves and that. No sell by date on there. There's no number on it. So if it just looks white and there's, you know, it looks like there's no lumps in it, just drink it. If it, if it, if it yeah, if, if, if an egg, egg, anything, any kind of product, get me. You know what I'm saying? Like no sell by dates, but as long as it looks consumable, like it, it, yeah, it's ready to fuck with. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? What what don't make sense at all? What don't make sense? We allow people to change their genders, something that was admonishable only 10 years ago. See, you're, you're following the ever-changing morality. Only 10 years ago, a man becoming a woman was a mental illness. It was something that was shamed upon. 10 years ago, if Chris Tyson was going on a Mr. Beast video and he was, he was there dressed up like a girl and he was saying that I'm taking uh, puberty blockers, hormone blockers, everybody would admonish him. In a lot of places, he would be excommunicated. He would say, absolutely, I do not want kids to take hormone blockers and change themselves forever. But today, that's allowed. Today, that's pushed. Today, that's okay and then everybody else kind of falls into suit there are a small minority of people in the west people that believe in god they say that this is absolutely wrong and then they get banned for it you can't follow the people that are around you the ever-changing morality you can't follow because a line of questioning you keep going see you're going back and forth you're the one that's following people you, you you're you're just you're what is he doing what is he actually saying ladies and gentlemen what is he saying you're the one that follows the community you just said that and now you're saying you can't follow everybody that's around. Man, this is what there's nothing but gibberish. Nothing but gibberish. Don't make no sense whatsoever. Off onto these tangents. Look, at the end of the day, man, it's not people in the West, people that believe in God. They say that this is absolutely wrong and then they get banned for it. You can't follow the people that are around you, the ever changing morality. You can't follow because a line of questioning. You keep going off onto these tangents. Look, at the end of the day, man, it's not a tangent. You can believe whatever it's you not want a tangent. to believe. But you, the point is, people are always going no, to. No, 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 no. You, you cannot believe just whatever you want to believe. You cannot. I, 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 you are doing. If you, you, if like, you believe bestiality is wrong, you should not be in society. If you believe uh, incest is okay, you should not be within the community. You should be excommunicated. These are things that there's some certain morality that we that should supersede. If you believe uh, incest is okay, you should not be within the community. You should be excommunicated. These are things that there's some certain to these tangents. Look, at the end of the day, man, it's not a tangent. You can believe whatever it's you want to tangent. believe. But you, the point is, people are always going. No, to no, 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 no. You I can't. don't see that. You cannot believe just whatever you want to believe. You cannot. I, 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 you are doing. If you if you believe bestiality is wrong, you should not be in society. If you believe uh, incest is okay, if you believe bestiality is wrong, you should not be in society. <sighs> you should not be within the community. You should be excommunicated. These are things that there's some certain morality that we that should supersede the government. That should supersede something. The government should not. See, it's funny how you're saying bestialities is that, you know, like sleeping with donkeys and cows and stuff like that. Well, you know, why would you go outside of your race, as in human race, and, oh my God, that. This is just the craziest conversation ever, everybody. It's the craziest conversation ever i can't believe some people ideology they indoctrinate the whatever i can't believe some people's intelligence i can't believe it i can't believe it yo i just hope there isn't many people that think walk around thinking like this guy here i swear to god i just hope that's not the case yo consent for you it's, like, not, it's I, not the age of consent it's, it's you should stay on topic here because i'm saying on these topic. Are going, you, what you are doing is you are deflecting to other topics you have still not directly said that it, you think it is a bad thing for an adult to marry a child. Like, you are still unable to say that. Now, let's But you haven't even defined child. child. I have. I, my definition is anything under 18. All this time, these guys grew up on this planet, right? And you don't know what a child is. You don't know what a child is. You don't know what a child is. He don't know what a child is. Asking you to define a child. Why do people go into these stupid lanes? Huh? Why do people go into these stupid lanes? Asking you to define what a child is. 
Do you know there's women out there that have got siblings, right, that are in their 30s and 40s and they still call them the baby, still look at them as the baby? This guy wants something about defining child. Listen, you don't have to define nothing to a man. A man should know what a child is. He's supposed to be the most responsible, right? But it sounds like this man here is questioning or is just not certain about nothing. So he shouldn't even be in a relationship at all, even messing with women. Do you understand? If you got questions like that, then you, you're lost. You are lost. Define it. Well, this thing, this is where the word comes from. Who cares where the word comes from? You know how we all use that word today. You get me? A child like 10, even 9 to 8, like, like, I'd say a child, I'd say up to 11, are we real? Nah, I won't even say that. No, 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 eleven. I put, I put, I put children. Yeah, forget it. About eleven, you're a child to me. Ten, I'll go ten marker. They're a child. Do you understand? When you get to ten marker, then you start being a teenager. Do you understand? It's a hard one. I'm thinking about the boys saying this, you know. I'm not thinking about girls. I'm not thinking about females. And that's where we come to this mad disunderstanding. So you know what the best thing to do is, right? Just put markers on it. Put numbers on it. You understand? You put a numbers on it, then that's just safe. It's just safe. Then people can agree or disagree. But as long as the number reaches a limit where they're sure that the body is ripe, right then there's no complaints except for you complaining except for you complaining everyone's happy with the 18 because it shows that you know they're ready to have sex at that age right and get married well it's like yeah i got a problem with that got a problem with that Is, that's exactly, exactly what a child yeah. is. Yeah, I think that is a great line in the sand. If you are under eighteen, you are a child. It's not a great line in the sand. That's, the, but that's not even the definition of child. It, who, you're you're who going cares? off of your who own cares, definition. Though? Who cares? Who cares? Like who cares? Yes. Why? If if it, eighteen is the established point, you are out of high school, going to college. If that is the point where everyone has agreed, you are an adult past this point. Why argue against it? Why argue what because is, why? because if the government decides to push the age of high school. If they tried, okay. if they tried to lower it, if they said that you can vote at a different age, then your morality changes based off of the law. And I'm saying that you need to have a consistent morality that does not change with the government and that does not change with the people that. Well, it is consistent. 18, you're getting your shit mixed up. What like you've come to, wherever you are, America or England or wherever you are, right? You get me, and you're trying to bring in your your shit yeah what don't agree to the people of the country that's the problem so if you want to do your shit you have to go home think about it it's quite simple do you understand because you ain't gonna dumb us down into believing any kind of bullshit like that do you understand when we see what happens to these people that's why we call them pedophiles people get uh, child children that end up being raped and killed the bodies dumped in fields, in in, in 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 stuff like that, man. You understand? Being happening, and it's been happening in our countries because, you know, we know. Not everybody, obviously, but we know. And it's been doing that for centuries, isn't it? So, get me, if it didn't work, if it's not working for you, or, all right then, prove to us it works. Prove to us it works. Show us the ratio numbers. Get me? Show us there's, there's no deaths. There's no mental issues that come from it. See, a lot of talking is one thing, but, you know, you got to bring proof sometimes. Live in your country. It has to supersede that. You can't just say Why? because of high school, because of college, this is the set in stone age forever. Okay, set it. I want you, Sneeko, to set an age in stone right now for the age of consent, age of marriage. What is that to you? I told you that there is no age of marriage. It has to be now, based off maturity and it has to be based off of whether it's going to so, be hard. See how stupid he sounds. See how stupid he sounds. It has to be based off maturity. 
See how dumb, you see how dumb it is? You understand? Not everybody matures the same way. So it can't be based on maturity, can it? You understand? So that's why you put a number on it. So everybody knows that person or people will be ripe at that kind of age. Oh my God, I don't know where they got this understanding from, this education from, but it's just not there. It's not there, man. This is like, I don't know. This this don't make no sense. No understanding in it. Nothing. And it has to be based off the, the consent of the parents. It has to Who be healthy. The, if I want to marry a girl, I have to first ask her father. I have to ask her brother. And the father's perfect. The father knows what's best for the child. At all and I have to ask her mother knows. and the daughter has to consent. If all three parties are consenting and then my family's consenting, that's fine. That's what and a marriage should be based on. Oh, my God. See, so we've got to remember they're telling us their way. Okay, first and foremost, their way. And all them people, brothers and that, consented to seeing their little sisters and that get dragged away. Fuck that. Hey, 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 let's carry on. Okay. All that happens and it's a 14-year-old, now what? If the, if the 14-year-old is mature and I'm 16, say I, I went through puberty as well, yeah, 16, and I'm 17 20. or I'm 18. See, the problem with this is that you, you have a specific idea the video that I seen, the guy was uh, 70 years old and the girl was, uh, I think she was eight or she was nine. She was eight or nine or maybe 10. One of those numbers. I know I got the, num the video still somewhere. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, y'all are, are basing this conversation of 14 and, 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 and 20 and stuff. When in reality, you know, it's like 60, 70 odd year old men. Where the ages, but if I'm 17 and I'm mature and I meet a, a 14, a 15 year old and I'm okay, I'm mature, my family's okay, I asked her daughter, you're not I asked seven, the, the daughter's in father for the hand of marriage. You're, you're in your 20s. I told you, I went Does on the already. I went on this already. Does it change? Your scenario earlier was if a 16 and a 21 year old, if it, both parties were consent, if the father was okay. Why would you want to look? Why would you be in your twenties or in your thirties and want to go to a young ass girl when you can go to like the twenty group? Why wouldn't you? Why would? Why? 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 You know the twenty group, like you know the twenty era from twenty to thirty. That's where you know the the flourishing the women are and the girls. You know the blessing out. You know what I'm trying to say, feeling out and all that stuff. Like you know what I'm trying to say. Like that's where the blessing. So, like, why would you go to a younger stage where they're not doing that? This is the part. This is the part that confuses me. Yeah. This is the part. You wouldn't eat an unripe apple, would you? You wouldn't eat an unripe anything. I'm telling you, man. I, I know. I just know. I know. Devilish acts when I see it, man. Okay with it, the mother was okay with it. Why not? What? Give me a reason why that's. Give me. A, tell me a reason why that's wrong. Because you're one getting is a child. One is not a child. But that's the point. So the fourteen-year-old. All of those criteria but, but, we just checked. You're the, in your. 20s. The definition that we just agreed upon. That's not true. Child is somebody that is not physically mature yet. It has nothing to do that with eighteen. That is not what we agreed upon. We agreed upon eighteen. You, you Most agreed. Of no, no, we didn't agree with that. Treated eighteen. No, so that's not true. That's not true across the whole oh, world. Like, sensible people. Sensible. Even, even your own community has agreed upon 18 for the most part. So I've seen a lot of the tweets when you go on these tangents. Most people say it should be 18 and Sneeko's arguing that parts of the world are different so it gets muddy, but the agreed upon for the majority of people is 18. That's not true. So under, that's just not true across the world. So you see when you argue against that, why it looks so weird. Do you okay. understand that? Yeah, I understand because uh, because people have been brainwashed with this. Okay, let me ask you this. People, oh, in your brain people are being brainwashed with this. People have been brainwashed. Listen to that, everybody. That Sneeko's talking like he knows the truth. He knows truth. That that's God's plan. God ain't no fool, you know. You understand? God made people understand when something's ripe and when something's not. When something's growing and when something's not growing. When something's about to die. You understand? God, listen. Just don't ever take God. Don't ever take. Listen, Sneeko, stop it. Do you understand? Because what you're preaching goes against the whole rule of nature and everything. Do you understand? That's a fact. Get me? I don't know what where you learned your bullshit from. But boy, you need to calm the fuck down, man.
You need to calm the fuck down. Get me. Furthermore, take that shit home, man. Well, she's okay. concerning. Okay. Is there are people if so the majority of Europe is sixteen. Is everybody in Europe who abides by that who abides by the law are they pedophiles? Uh yeah. In my they eyes, one hundred percent. And okay. in European society too. Fine. If you have someone in their twenties that is fucking and marrying a sixteen year old, they too are excommunicated. No, no, no not excommunicated. Are they ped- are they pedophiles? Legal. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I would say yes. They're pedophiles. Okay, so, so the majority Yes, 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 yes. Many of people that follow the law in Europe are pedophiles, according to Moist Critical. If yes, they are it's, it's their, yes or if no. they're an adult fucking an under eighteen year old, even if it's sixteen legally, I would say yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And in America, the majority of the states it's sixteen. Are those people who follow the law of the land? Are they pedophiles for following the? So the majority. I keep saying the, the law ma- of the land. It's that's what it is. The majority it's of not. states it's sixteen. So if you, you, I want you right now, Sneeko. If you go to any of those states where it's 16 and you fuck a 16 year old, it's statutory rape. It is still statutory rape. It doesn't apply. That's not what that Romeo. Means. Okay, well, how that works. we went in circles. The Romeo and Juliet laws don't apply for most people. So you're only right putting out that, 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 like, you know, 16, this, that, 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 certain parts of America, and you didn't even got the information right. You didn't even got the information right. You know what you need to do, right? Start asking for proof. When people want to stand there and start putting out information about things and stuff, ask for proof. Ask them to prove it for you. Ask them, everybody. Don't just listen to a person talk. Always ask for proof. You understand? Because people talk crap. You understand? People will feed you a lie. They will always feed you a lie just to indoctrinate you and to get you into the clan. That's a fact. Remember that. And even without that, even without the Romeo and Juliet laws, if it was 16 and all the countries that are 16, are those people pedophiles? As I just said, yes. Okay. In those countries too. Okay. These. So, but do, do you realize what you're saying? You, what you also. What you are saying. Whoop is an awesome health and too. Okay. These. So, but do, do you realize what you're saying? You, what you also. What you are saying. In those countries. Most yeah, people sorry, who follow. Ahead. Yeah. What you're saying, based off this logic. Most people in the world are pedophiles if they follow the law. It, yes, absolutely. Yes. If the law is under 18, I would say yes. Okay. So, but that's not the law. Because the most of the world, as we established, most of the world is not 18. Most people. It's just most people. So you're saying most people in America will be, be doing that. So you're saying if mo- the majority of the world follows the law and they, they exercise their rights, they do exactly what they're good citizens, and they follow the law where it's 16, you are saying... The majority of the world contains pedophiles. Even if they don't even act upon it, even if they agree that, okay, one day, maybe I can, out of wedlock, I could fuck a 16-year-old. Because those just the thought, point. but yes, just if, there is, if there is an adult, as I've said many times, if there is an adult, and I am defining an adult as someone who is... We know. Let's just, we'll go, we'll go deeper. We'll, we'll make it even simpler. Your age. If there is someone that is your age, and they are fucking a 16-year-old... Why my age now? I, 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 thought was, I, thought, I thought it was. I thought it was eighteen. Understand. I thought it was eighteen. I, I just gave a number because you were. You, Wait, okay. no, no, no. But you gave a number earlier. 18. You said eighteen. Eighteen. See, the problem with the sneaker, he's trying to, he's taking this as like a debate, and he's trying to win something, trying to catch him out on something. Knowing Sneeko knows he's hella wrong, you know, but he feels offended because you're going against his own um, education, his learning, his his, his whatever the word is. But so, so now he's gone in de- debate mode. Oh no, but he just said uh, blah blah blah. But he's not making no damn points. He's still skipping all of the guy's questions. Yeah, I was just trying to make it easier. Eighteen. If there is an adult that is fucking a sixteen-year-old, mm-hmm. even in a country where it says sixteen is okay, then yes, absolutely. Now, in the case of the eighteen sixteen-year-old. That's where Romeo and Juliet kicks in. Mm-hmm. But if it is someone in their 20s, in their 30s, fucking a 16-year-old, that is literally statutory rape in pretty much everywhere in the world. Right. Based off your logic, you, you realize this, that if a 19-year-old has sex with a 17-year-old, they all they should go to jail. They're pedophiles. That is Romeo and Juliet. And unless it's an 18, then yeah, wait till they're 18. Okay, but a lot of states don't even have Romeo and Juliet. In Europe, they don't have that. The, the place, your, your Romeo and Juliet said it's an American thing. You know the law, father, the law, simple. You know the law, follow the law, um, Sneeko. Do you understand? And in the Europe, a lot of these places, if a 19-year-old has sex with a 17-year-old, your logic, they should go to jail. Is that true? Yeah, I, I, would, I, I, think, I think it all is absolutely going to be one of those things where there's an agreed-upon age. If 
if it's 18, it's 18. So yeah, follow it. A 19-year-old, a 19-year-old in a relationship with a 17-year-old should go to jail. Well, I, I, no, okay. I guess, it, like I said, it will all depend on where that is located. So to give an example, call me Carson, and that I think it was a 17-year-old. I think he was 19 and 17. Like that could be a high school relationship, and I don't remember where that took place. But the big problem there is apparently he was getting nudes. That's child porn. Like that's that's a huge issue. 19 and 17, that's only a two-year age gap. So that is applicable under things like Romeo and Juliet. And so even if it is under 18 in the place you come from, that's an extenuating circumstance. But that's not what we're talking about. You keep bringing it back down to reasonable places. But what you argue for is things like when you legally can drive, you can legally get married and have sex. Yes, when, when, you, when you are physically mature, when you're ready to drive a car, you should be able to. There's a lot of people that have jobs that need to do things. Nico, stop taking this to the debate. You know, this ain't about religion. You understand? Let him finish what he's got to say. This is the thing you're scared for him to finish what he's going to say. You even know where he's going to go, don't you, Sneeko? A lot of people aren't ready to drive cars. They're not physically, they're not mentally mature, mature yet to drive a car. They shouldn't drive a car at 16. It should be based off maturity. The same thing has to do with sex. My, my, the That's so backwards. That's backwards. A lot of people ain't ready at 16, blah, 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 blah. So therefore, you put it at a high enough number where everybody's, everybody will be ready, which is 18. The body would have grown enough to that point, right? The body would have matured the body itself. Do you understand, Sneeko? Do you understand? Instead of running around asking the parents and the sister and the mother, huh? Huh? Stupid ass. Stupid ass. The reason I keep saying this is because you have these set in stone numbers. And if you were to lay the law of the land, if we follow your laws, if we follow your your criteria, a 19-year-old and a 17-year-old, he's consenting, get she's consenting, the parents are happy, they're happy. They want to get married. They're ready to Down. go. You're putting them in jail. That doesn't make any sense because, well, because of this. Romeo because Juliet kicks in. Like I don't know what Sard to understand about that. Places where that know. doesn't exist. I, I guess I'm yeah, not too familiar with how those. A cases lot of places. A lot of places they don't. A lot of places they don't. And it's it, this is why it's arbitrary. So what? Where? And based off your standards, when is? Next son. Those are teenagers. A 17 and a 19 year old. Those are both teenagers. Okay, now they're that teenagers, not, but you just said 18 was an adult. Uh, I'm, Yes, they are. You see, they are you see how the definitions keep they're changing? They're in the same, in the they keep changing. Over, so far in this conversation, you changed it so many times. You said 18 is an adult. No, no, you said, uh, but listen, because you did. I heard you do yeah, double up yeah, a couple I times. I know what you're going to harp on here. No, yes. no, you did. You, did. Said, you said 18 is an adult, and then you said adults like you, because you think 25 is an adult now, because that's when you're. Why, so why is it? Let me ask you a scene. Why is, why, is it not 20, why is it not 25? It's because that's, that's, that's not what was established. Like, no, no, I'm asking you because you, you believe in personal beliefs. I believe in, in some. I, I, my morality comes from the Quran. You believe in personal beliefs. Why is it not 25? 25 is when the frontal cortex is fully developed. That's when you're done maturing. I couldn't tell you why it's not 25. I okay. have no clue. I don't know why the drinking age is 21. I don't know. But they are agreed upon rules. They're agreed upon that rules. Just like, just like the drinking age, just like the voting age, they're, they're agreed upon rules. And a lot of them don't make any sense. Why is drinking 21? 18, but uh, but if you're at the age, if you're saying you'd be responsible in that to be married at that age, then drinking, you should be uh, responsible enough responsible enough to moderate your drinking you know drink it in moderation don't um you know drink a whole bottle and get drunk and then jump in the car and start driving you get me you're supposed to be responsible enough to know how much your own intake is you're supposed to be responsible enough so how can that not make no sense huh it just shows you're not responsible enough to drink that's all it says you know sneako you're not responsible enough you're not you get me? You don't that if that don't make no sense, it means that you over drink, you don't you ain't got no limit. Like you're not responsible enough to um marry people at a certain age. You're not responsible enough. You understand? You understand? So you get them when they're when they're young, when they're not even ripe. When they're not even ripe. God damn, I hope we really don't learn that from that book you just said. That's crazy. You must be making that shit up, man. You can't be learning that from that. I do think 18 does. There is a good reason for it. You are out of high school. You are going to live on your own. You're going to college. I think that is a good reason. Yeah, maybe in, think, maybe in the 1980s, but nowadays people don't leave the house until 24, 25, until they're my age. A lot of people don't. People are not financially ready. People are still immature. Oh, my God, all right, let him keep talking because I know a lot of people that leave their house 
You know what I'm saying? People are ready. Family had money put away from them to get them on their feet and stuff. A lot of people are not in that boat, obviously. But don't try and talk for the majority because you don't know the numbers. You're just throwing things out. Hence why I said before, people, ask for proof. Ask for proof when people talk, especially this guy. There's 18-year-olds I know that are more mature than people my age, and there's 25-year-olds that are more immature than 18-year-olds. It's arbitrary. Yeah. It depends on personal experience. There's it depends on individual maturity. And that's why you set a number. That's why you set a number. 18, everybody's ripe enough for sex. Or try and get married, whatever your argument is. Yeah, you understand? People in 14, everybody might not be at that level. 13, everybody might not be at that level. 14, 15, I mean, 12, 13, 11, boom, 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 boom. Right? There's all problems below that number, isn't there, Sneeko? But once you get to 18, it's okay, isn't it, Sneeko? It's just that certain horny devils here yeah, are complaining about it because they want something faster. Right? That's the only way you can look at it. You can't say it's not about sex. Obviously, it is about sex. Because you can't wait. But there needs to be something to find in your rule here. And I'm saying there is something to find. I'm saying there is. A 14-year-old, in your definition, could literally marry an adult. That's a problem. In your world, a 14-year-old can marry an adult. Yeah, in my, in my world, a 14, two 14-year-olds could be adults. I'm telling you, the what only... The fuck? The why only, see why that's weird? Two 14-year-olds, you don't think that two 14-year-olds could be married? No, absolutely not. No? No. Uh, under why would they, two 14-year-olds get married? Why would, why would you even allow that? Let them grow up. Let them... Oh, my God. You see how... The, 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 instead of understanding... Putting it out as two 14 year olds, you know, trying to say educating themselves, blah, blah, blah. Talking about marriage, 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 you know, let no skills in life, but want to get married. Still hype, running up and down with his friends and want to get married. I'm sure there was no universities back then in them days and stuff like that. If you get what I mean. No circumstances do I think two 14 year olds can marry. To can two 16 year olds let alone a four, can, Let alone a 14 and a 20 year old or whatever. Okay, can two, can two 16 year olds be married? No, I don't think why, two 16 year olds. Why, why is it wrong if uh, so a 16 year old, because the age of consent is across the world, so many places 16, if they can do how, go have frivolous sex with a lot of people, if they can go fuck around, if they can do deviant things, if they can change their gender, why can they not get married? Sex change, like Chris from Mr. Beast, these people can take hormone you blockers. Harp on listen, so much. Listen, just focus you're, you're not. You're not listening. Wow. So they've got all the sex change things going on. So why can't they get, get married? Why can't that be a thing to... Oh, my God. Everybody. I think Sneeko bends over and takes it over the, the pipeline. Yeah? That's what he's coming across. He's part of the team. Yeah. I mean, nothing but confusion. Nothing but confusion. And disgust to even even think like that about on like young ass kids, children, get me, y young teenagers, whatever you want to call it. Think this is the, this is the point. You could take hormone blockers. You could take puberty blockers. Okay, at, when you're a child, when you're 16, you can go change your gender, but you can't get married. Why is that? What? Uh, that that's that, I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty obvious question. No, it's not. There are it's not. See, if you take, if you cut your penis off, like Chris and Mr. Beast, if you cut your penis off, that is a life-altering decision. You can't you can't glue it back on. You can get divorced if you get married. This is. Let me answer this question because it's all part of an agenda. Do you understand? They want people to destroy themselves. You understand? That like they've been doing with hip hop, TV, like films and stuff or whatever, pushing their agenda for this to happen. The big whole woke thing. Do you understand? I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but yeah, it's all and and listen, it's a, it's the same reason why whenever you hear about that agenda stuff where it's all been positive and you never hear the negative, you never hear the bad side of things, right? Because they're trying to push something, right? Otherwise, it'd be even squeezing. We'd be hearing about the deaths and the and and the mental issues and and the mistakes and the people screaming, wish they never done that stuff and blah blah blah. But they keep that silence and agenda, just like you talking right now, Sneeko.
agenda. Facts, that is. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. You understand? What you're talking now destroys lies. Facts. Do you understand? Causes mental problems too. Facts. <laughs> Get me. Maybe I'm not educated enough and I'm getting it wrong, everybody. Or maybe I'm the ultimate being, spiritual. Shout out to the Jamaicans, because we know, we know. The commitment that you're taking, a child, based off the liberal point of view that you believe in, they can have gender surgery. They can change forever. He lagged out. One sec. Guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is everything good? Hello? Hey, you back? Yep. Okay, uh, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to miss this line. Of Are you good? Uh, can you turn your camera on and off? Oh no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah. okay. You're good. If somebody can have. Okay. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay. So it's the question is, can somebody? Well, that, they can. Yeah, they can do that procedure. Does it mean that you know, the actual place they want to go? It's going to get to that point. Like, a man will never be able to give birth to a woman like that. Get me? The body frame is just not built for that. For the hips to go wide and all that stuff. Do you understand? They're not built for that. But they, I guess they're going to have a dream. And, and there's a system out there for them to try and make that dream come true. So they're going as close as they can to that dream. You understand? And now they've even got modern technology out there to help destroy their life. Right? Get me? Spin, 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 die at the same time. There's no problem with that. As long as everyone, your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever, but they can't... A child can. What do you mean? So the child walk into the hospital, the doctors, and said, yo, I want my little wood snapper cut off. Everybody. Or, I'm gonna have my dicky cut off. Mommy. Like, I mean, who took him in there, Sneeko? Was it the parents? The same parents that give up the child for, to get married? Hmm? Or was it the child? Get married? Oh, that's a decision I that. I think the problem is his parenting right now. And obviously, certain laws for certain countries or understanding or education. Now it extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in saying, I want to marry that child, I, yep, I don't think that can happen under any circumstance. So, you, no. but it's still a personal decision. You're still deciding. It's, 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 but still, anyway, it's no, it, because there's take a, the other. No, because a, a child can't go into court and represent itself. A child can't go into a shop and buy a drink. A child can't do buy, buy a car and drive it. I don't care what the child wants or thinks there's a certain point we have to bring up the child and you have to show the child what to do educate the child once it gets past that period that's the child that's the period we're talking about where you know where you started talking about being advanced enough to get married you sneak oh you're talking a lot of crap right now you know you are talking a lot of crap just face it sneak oh you're, you're you're a capital p this has gone past the debate. You're not talking like as a third party. Nah, 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 nah. You're talking from experience, man. You understand? This kind of thing, shit happens around you. Do you understand? And you know it. You understand? Oh, you got the equation. It's a personal it's decision. If I'm, or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful, she's 21 years old, her family wants to do it, my family wants to do it, you're saying, I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's, that woman's a pedophile. But if then the next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. Yeah. Well, see, I've kind of looked into this thing. Right? No, you lying because you can't just go straight in there and have it cut up. I'm sure they have to make you wait like two years or some shit like that. Three years, two years. To see if you're medically set you know, you have to go through like a medical assessment and a you know, you know, a mental assessment. You understand? So like you, you just what are you doing, Sneeko? What are you actually trying to do right now? What are you trying to do? 
happy that I'm depressed. I want to cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete. Yep. I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Okay, but with it, so everyone has the right to do with their body what they want. When they're mature adult enough, eighteen plus, twenty one even, twenty five, they should put the mark out to higher to have body altifications. Start that about twenty five. Not when it comes to a sacred marriage where they have it's kids, one, where they not, add to society. No just you. That but is not, that is you your body. Bringing someone in. Okay, you're still bringing in the doctor to use the scissors to snip off your well, penis. He's not, he's not there for the rest of your life. He's not constantly there at your fucking house monitoring you. You don't need to be you're, there. You're, you're not glued to your wife. You're not there like Siamese twins. You, come, you are a 16-year-old. You are. You are entirely reliant on this adult that you've now brought in. No, you're not. Yes, you can tell I parents, maybe I'm making my own money. I'm not reliant. If I'm 16 and I marry a 21-year-old and I'm making a lot of money and I'm doing well. and I'm <laughs> 16, making a lot of money. Oh, you see, I was trying to study that. It should be okay. He's just bending the rules. 16-year-olds buying Lamborghinis. Okay. Got his own business. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let's carry on. Independent. I'm not relying upon her. Not only that, the, the person that you just put through transgender therapy, now they need to go to therapy once a week. Now they need to go to the pharmacist once a week. Look how many people are involved now. You're, now they're going to therapy groups. Now they're, they're online. They're making YouTube videos. They're in a Mr. Beast challenge. This person is relying on so many people, and they also have... Uh, you're, you're cutting out again. You're cutting out. Uh, Chad, is it me or him? Everybody, are you, are you just agreeing with Sneeko right now? Huh? If you are, I feel sorry for you, man. I think you should go and um, reset yourself, you know. So, so sad to hear this shit, man. It's so sad. But listen, at the end of the day, take that shit home, man. Go and play them games where the rules were made. That's a fact. That's a fact. Ah! Chad, is he cutting his internet out? <laughs> Mine's fine. My stream's running fine. Okay. All right. I'm not lagging at all. I don't know, man. Moist! Want to build a YouTube channel, but dread being on camera? I just found an AI tool called NVIDIA. Come back. Okay. I, they're saying it's you, not me. It's not, it's not me. What do you mean? Okay. You I, just I, refreshed your cam and it fixed it. No, I left the call and joined again. But I, I don't want to leave this point. I don't want to leave this point. You, okay. Why? I, I want to hear a clear answer that makes sense. Because you said it's because you're relying on other people. But I've established that a trans person is relying on the pharmacist, is relying on the therapy. I didn't say that. I didn't say relying. I said you are making a personal decision yourself. You are making a decision for you. When you are making a decision about marriage, you're bringing someone else in that is now not just you. Just you because bringing you're bringing in. someone else in does not change the fact that it's a personal decision. Marriage is a dis it's consent. It is deciding yes, regardless of the other person. But it's a still child, a personal a child decision. Can't possibly wrap their head around this adult that has been preying on them. Like I don't know why you can't see that a 16-year-old can't be making this decision on this adult who is convincing them that I am the right choice for you for life. Right, right. But but a, a nine-year-old boy can go into. But, 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 but a clinic and decide that that doctor that 40 year old doctor can cut my penis off if no it don't work like that you see nine-year-old boy does a nine-year-old boy work in a clinic and do that no it's parents that take them in there and do that it's the parents and then they have to go through stages sneako stop it sneako stop it you a devil man and that's that you would it's a decision he and his family wants to make. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. You, okay. Absolutely oh, okay, okay. So then, why is it that bringing someone else to cut my penis off? If that's a decision he and his family wants to make, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. You, it okay. Absolutely oh, okay, okay. So then, why is it that bringing someone else into that marriage, why does that then make it wrong? Because it could be an adult with a child, which is an un, that is an unacceptable dynamic under every possible In the doctor's office. You're sick. Maybe you're just sick. You're, you're sick saying that. Why is that wrong? Listen, start acting like people wait years until the blah, blah, blah to marry them. Let's talk about like the age nine. When you're getting these uh, little ass kids at nine and marrying them off, right? Then me, obviously, sex is taking place. Ain't no one believing that there's no sex. You can try and sell that to the world, but people ain't stupid. Do you understand? 
because that's what people do like to have sex kids don't but i can see the men forcing the south on them as plenty of reports have been in do you understand and now it's like he's trying to push that shit here that's what it sounds like at your mouth nico in that gender therapy forever it's still an adult and a child cutting off the penis moist that, but that, that you don't you are not living with that fucking doctor you have made a decision you're living yourself. with the decision of that doctor to cut the penis off it's still living with the decision of another person too and, that, and that's life you live with decisions some people might regret it sure but within this this marriage with an adult that is a decision that is now once they are in your life it can be out of your hands you can have this adult come in and just start beating the shit out of you you can have all kinds of things when you're with getting your penis cut off you have made a decision. Okay, wait, you're saying you can you can get you can get point. beat up. You can still get beat up out of marriage. You absolutely can. But a child is never going to be thinking about things like that because they can't. A child can't consent to marrying an adult. But so, but, so, so why is a child smart enough to decide that he's now a woman that needs puberty blockers and cutting his penis off? This is something stupid. Hey, can you hear him? Can you hear him? A child is smart enough to decide that. A child is smart enough, like the child wasn't taught these things. Hey, listen, people, if y'all ain't reading what I'm seeing and stuff, then you're sick in the head too. Hey, there's a real issue going on, man. You understand? Get me? People need to be re-educated. People need to be re-educated. Re Britain, you failed, man. And, and educating these people, how are you going to let them come in with this ideology and shit to think this way? But at the same time, you know, Britain, you're guilty too. You know, you, you also are guilty too. So in my head, it kind of made sense why you invited it. But anyway, I'm out. I'm going to end that here. Look out for a part three when I get round to it. I'm going to rest now. It's been a good hour or so I've been doing this. But yeah, man, that crazy. Hey, listen. Listen. Follow the country's rules. Okay. Simple. I'm not catching no infections. That's why you got all these AIDS and stuff going around, all different types of STDs and all this madness, man. Uh, I'm so sick. I'm so sick of the. Uh, I'm sick of this world, man. Yo, peace.